tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell you just got ready and did my makeup. It's around 6.30. Brian and I have to leave for dinner in about an hour. And this is my first time wearing a full face of makeup in probably like a week. Room service just knocked on our door and we ordered room service earlier today, but they gave us a big bottle of wine, a little cheese platter. And I was like, who is this from? And it's just from the hotel. So nice. We're headed out to dinner. This is today's makeshift outfit because I don't have anything. Literally, this was a skirt that I bought at the Real Real like a couple days ago. And then I just have a little black like, cardigan sweater that I'm using. It's 85 degrees here and I didn't bring like any really warm mother clothes or dresses. So we're gonna have to go shopping tomorrow. But this is outfit and we are running out to dinner. <laughs> Today it is around 8.30, woke up a little bit early. As you saw, knocked out like really pretty early last night. But we're gonna go grab breakfast. We're staying at the Four Seasons with Amex actually. So because we booked with Amex, we get complimentary breakfast, which is always like such a nice feature, especially we had room service yesterday, which was quite good but expensive. So we're gonna go make use of that. I'm also realizing that I have no clothes here. I have two dresses that are supposed to last me like the entire week and I found a couple of shops nearby so I think we might walk around and do some shopping afterwards. So. Last night, Brian and I did some shopping because I had no clothes. Picked up some new things I thought I would show. Okay, so I forgot I had this dress, so I think I'm probably gonna wear this today. Kind of like a midi tube dress from Dish, so that'll be really cute. And then I picked up some tops from Sandro, and everything was so expensive. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep these or not, because like this tank top is really cute. 
it's like this velvet color so it looks a really deep black but I don't know if you can see like the little details on it are super pretty but this was $190 so she was not cheap this is from Sandro but I'm just gonna think about it and then I also got this halter top that was really cute too and it has kind of like this embellishment very different for me and it is like quite dressy this one is also just like a generic knit material so I don't really know why these were so expensive I think it's just like the brand but it was my first time buying from Sandra I've seen the brand many times before this was also $190 and then this top was on sale and Brandon actually wasn't even crazy about it so we'll have to see but from the front it's just kind of like your average white knit top but then from the back there's this cutout that's super cute so that's kind of like a fun aspect and I feel like I could see myself wearing this with like a skirt or some baggy pants as kind of like a fun little evening top so after that we went to the store called capsule and it was a vintage shop and the gentleman that helped us out I think his name was Jose um, he helped us out and he was so sweet he was like outfitting me and showing me all the different ways I even put on a couple tops and he was like I don't like that so always love shopping with people <laughs> with that honesty okay hopefully that is better I'm filming now on my Leica and there's no flip screen so usually when I set myself up I like don't know if I'm in focus I don't know what it looks like but I got this like reworked top so capsule does a couple of like reworked items and I've been looking for a cropped button up for a while now and this is actually perfect and it's a reworked Burberry top but I like it because the sleeves actually fold out so it just looks like an average white button up if you didn't want to be so like brandy but if you wanted to obviously flip it out you have that little detail so super cute fits me really well the back is like a little bit cinched which is kind of a fun little feature and then I picked up this knit top that is just kind of a fun little cover up it's from like old school Versace a fun like sage green color there's one button so I could wear this with like no bra underneath even as just like a cardigan over like a night dressed silk dress or something and I just think this is really really cute and then everything wasn't super expensive either everything I'm about to show you I got for around the same price as my three Sandro shirts and these are all like designer vintage so this one is another reworked capsule piece and it actually is like a Burberry reworked vest and it's really cool because it's cropped but it has kind of like a shoulder pad moment so it's a really kind of statement piece and I feel like this over a basic outfit will really elevate it and then last thing I got is a leather blazer and this one is from it's just like a generic brand it's from Wilson's but I liked it because the fit is really cool it's a little bit more like refined and fitting than my other leather blazer which is like a men's oversized blazer so this one has a different vibe it also has like the stitching on the whatchamacallit so I just think it's really pretty and for a night out or something where I want to look really dressy and chic this is kind of like a fun little piece and he gave us 10% off because we're first time customers as well so his store was kind of located in an office building on the sixth floor so it's called capsule if you are in Miami and you're looking for designer vintage highly recommend because there's nothing else really like that near here so
Okay, our friends at Nike just sent us the biggest package. They <laughs> really set us up. Looking rough this morning because Brian and I just woke up like half an hour ago and it's 9 30 so a little bit of a later start but last night we had a hosted dinner by missy missy, missy robbins got to meet missy robbins and she's actually the chef of lilia and missy in new york which lilia is like one of our favorite restaurants ever so that was like highlight of my entire life just kidding but that was really cool meeting her um the dinner is really good they, they did um a wine tasting with it so we had lots to eat lots to drink it was just like such a packed day yesterday. Yesterday felt like a whole week packed into one day. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna run off and grab our last breakfast and then we are checking out of our hotel, moving into a new Airbnb. Coffee every morning. What kind of cappuccino is this? There's no foam. More like a latte. This is our next Airbnb. This little kitchen, and then this is our bedroom that we're staying in, nice and roomy. Little bathroom, and then this is the master where Taylor and her boyfriend are staying. This is Brandon's sister. Every single driver in Miami drives with no thoughts. They like brake check so hard and we're like in the back of the car like this, like so nauseous. And so we're gonna take a little chill outside for a second. Enjoy some of the cool breeze. Yeah, some fresh air. some sushi at Mia Market and it was delicious. Yeah, had, had like a 10 piece omakase with a hand roll for what? 50, $55 a person? 59. 59, which is 58, which actually is not bad at all. We were still hungry, so we had a really good udon soup. Now we're walking home. We stopped by a Target to pick up, pick up some kombucha. kombucha. And these pickles that I'm so excited for that I haven't seen since I moved from Seattle. The best. Literally, I bought like four packs and the cashier was like, are these good? And I was like, yes, you have to try them. Airbnb and I thought I'd do a little pickle test. Favorite pickles ever. Ever. These are pretty spicy. Better than, do you like those better than the pickle guy at the market? I don't know, I haven't had these in a long time. There's no way. Yeah, the farmer's market pickles are better. They're just fresher. Fresher. 
better. But these, pretty good. Like if you don't have access to a good farmers market and you don't have world's best pickle guy, we go to the Sherman Oaks farmers market back in LA, and there's this guy that sells pickles and it's labeled as like world's best pickles or something like that and the ghost pepper pickles are like literally taste the same as this but if you don't have a pickle guy at your local farmer's market these are lit but wait for the kick at the end pretty good i feel like they're just not as not as crunchy. What would you rate it? S probably like a 7 out of 10. Yeah. Like a 6.5. What? Six, yeah. 8 for me. We're facing another hurricane this morning. I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came me way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you So one thing we noticed here is everyone is a terrible driver. So we've decided to walk most places. Just like overly aggressive. Yeah, and like Confident. really, really bad. Everyone kind of does whatever they want. Everyone thinks they have the right of way even if they don't have the right of way. Yeah, so it's very much to a fault. It's pretty scary. Which, funny story. Last night, we were in an Uber. On the way to dinner, we met up with a gal at a couple days ago and her Uber got rear-ended and we were like, oh my god, that is a crazy story, whatever. Last night, we're on the way to dinner with Taylor Samir, full car, and he got in a really bad car accident. He did not get into a really bad car accident, but was, the whole front bumper got taken off. Yeah, like, and, and his car was like dripping liquid, so it's pretty bad, but no one got hurt. Yeah. Thankfully. Okay. But the cars are. It's like we were well. coming out of this street in a car, like both front ends just collided. Yeah. And he, yeah. And we're all in the car, obviously, shaken. Taylor hit her head on the window. <laughs> she got a little donk. <laughs> she got a little donk donk. I spilled kombucha all over my skirt. And so, yeah, then we. Went on to dinner and went out to um, Coat, Miami, which was actually really good, but we literally got there. And for a while, I was just like, I still can't believe that happened. Yeah. But aside from the fact, Coat was really good. We've been to the New York location. We found that it was a little bit more expensive this here. Rice, they had a little basil pricing going on. Yeah, quite expensive for like their little set meal that they had, but for Korean barbecue, Really good. really good and it was in the design district's a really good location and after that we went to the nylon party which was really fun but it was kind of crazy to get into we're into another art show called red dot red dot. we went to one i don't know if we ever talked about it but we went to one called um scope oh, it's yeah. like a pretty Over. pretty well known art show and they had really cool stuff a lot of like really cool like independent artists that were all there. Yeah, that was cool that you actually got to talk to the artists and kind of hear their meet some of them. vision behind their work. And now we're walking. It's about a 20 minute walk. Whoa. But um, at least it's not hot out. Yeah, really perfect Quite weather perfect. today.
we could like walk this. Okay, our bags are packed. We weighed everything. Everything is 52 pounds or less. Getting ready for bed, and this is like our favorite. You guys know kombucha. This is just really great for travel because it helps me like regulate my poops. It's good for your stomach, especially with all the cheese and stuff occasionally that I'll have. I thought I would save my last pickle. This is the O oh Snap Pickling Po. It's like the whole pickle. I have not tried this one yet. It's currently 2 a.m. and we went out with Taylor and her boyfriend and she turned, it was her birthday at midnight, so we were just doing the last little celebration with them. And we head to the airport tomorrow at 6 a.m., which is in approximately four hours. Look at my pickle.